I'm Kim Kirkbride and I look after the Bird of Prey Hospital here at the Hawk Conservancy Trust. I've been here at the Hawk Conservancy for about nine years now and I came initially on work experience and have never left. The Trust vet, John Chitty, he comes to the park about once a week. If we have anything that needs to go down prior to that, we'll give him a call, take it straight down to the vets, but he'll do an initial tour around once a week where he comes to have a look at any of our park birds that need to require care. Just so he's just perching next to it's it. It's where he runs along it and because right. he likes to say hello to people. Uh. The hospital has a daily routine as anything does on park and the routine of the hospital often starts off with checking all the birds are okay. So when we first come in, we switch everything on, give any medication that's required and then head around and feed all of the birds. The hospital, I'm afraid to say, does involve lots of cleaning. A lot of people look at it and think it's glam and you get to see the birds recovering and, and them coming in and being released, but there's an awful lot of cleaning that goes in between as well. There are a variety of different birds that I absolutely love working with and seeing. The favourite bird that I have has to be Orion, our bald eagle. The reason that I like Orion so much against all the other birds is because at one point last year he got really poorly so he had to have a lot of one-on-one -on -one care in the hospital. We thought he might not make it but thanks to the great care of all the trust staff here we managed to get him back up to full health. The most exciting bird that I've dealt with here in the hospital is the honey buzzard. The bird came in with a broken wing and it's a juvenile, so it was in its first year, had ju just fledged the nest and sadly had mismigration because of the fracture to the wing. Can we release the bird? It was outside of its migration period. Now, with a juvenile, it doesn't actually come back to England. It stays out in Africa for a year before it returns. Because it had missed the boat, the bird wouldn't probably have migrated by itself. So we at the Trust were stuck with the decision of, do we keep it here for a year or do we release it? And after an ethical decision, we decided that the best option for the bird was to actually fly it out to Gambia. So I got to assist and got to take it back out into the wild. Currently at the moment the hospital has a kestrel uh, in there that's being rehabilitated and it came to us from a collection near to us actually, Marwell Zoo. They gave us a call to say they've got a bird that was coming in and it was low in condition and all she needed was a little bit of time to gain her fitness and put on weight and it's good news she's actually good to be released. She's been out in the pre-release aviary moving herself around gaining fitness and we can actually now release her on a glorious sunny day like today. It's vital that all of the birds are released back to where they came from. So this kestrel we're actually going to take back to Marwell Zoo uh, in Winchester. And we're going to release her back in the area because she might already have territory, she might even have a partner that she's pairing up with, and she already knows that area. So it's vital she goes back to exactly where she was found. I'm passionate about the birds, I get to work with them on a daily basis. Everyone says, do you love your job? And you know, you can't say no. And watching the public do it as well and getting the same enjoyment from it that we are teaching them and telling them about the birds, it's just a nice part of the whole package really. <laughs>